Tommy, our first defeat at home this season. What are your thoughts after that one? I feel empty. I feel um, disappointed. And I don't use that word very often with this with the group of players that we've worked with. Um, but I thought the best team on the day one. I thought they, I mean, they took their chances, which we didn't in the first half. We had some really good chances. Um, but we, we played a big part in their goals again. Uh, and that's, that's a concern, obviously. Um, but it's up to me to, you know, to, to eradicate them errors. And that may be a personnel thing, it may be a structural thing. But ultimately, when you don't, when you don't score, you can't win a game. And if you, if you concede easy goals or, or soft goals, then you give teams confidence to come, keep coming back at you. Um, and that's not been the way we've been. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's a one-off, obviously, and uh, we, can, we can get past it as quickly as we can. The one thing is we've got, we've got a chance to put it right quickly on Tuesday. You mentioned not scoring there. That is something that is quite rare for us, especially at home, isn't it? And and so far this season. So what, what do you think went wrong in that aspect today? I think if you look at the detail of the passing, I thought in the first half there was only one of our players passing the ball forward correctly. Um, and after that, the decisions when we got into the final third or the people on the ball in the final third or so higher up the pitch just made wrong decisions. They didn't get the ball to the... the we had one really good chance. We hit the bar. Um, but we, you know, we got we broke into their box quite a lot. We we broke up their play quite a lot. Um, but it was too much like a tennis match. It was too open in in the first half. Second half, we probably dominated the possession, but without really making a goal and make enough saves. So you're asking me the million dollar question: Why why we didn't score? Um, you got to give a bit of credit to Rochdale. That's their fifth clean sheet, mm, yeah. I believe, in seven games. They're well drilled. He's got they have a good side, um, and I think. We're a match for them, to be honest with you. I think it's a good game. The three games I've, I've had against them, whilst the older shop manager, they've been they've been good football matches, and uh, yeah, they're they're a good side. Yeah, you mentioned their defensive record there. There was a lot of talk about them having a really good defensive record. So do you think it was a case of maybe them nullifying us a bit more than? You yeah, know, you got, like I said, you've got to give them credit for keeping us out. Not many teams do. So, but like I said, we did. We we've got, we've also got to look at why we didn't score. We, we didn't hit the target, or we hit the bar, and the goalkeepers made saves. The, the pass before the the finish on occasions in the first half when we got into really good areas was the wrong choice or people are shooting from an angle where they can't score and they should be making another pass so yeah there's, there's a lot of little things in it. and you know I've just said to the, the players there I think they have to look in the mirror at themselves and say you know did they play at a level that they've set themselves today and I don't think there's more than two or three that can say that yeah I did what I'm supposed to do I thought Ashley Akpan was our best player again today um, but there's only two or three who, are, who have been consistent all the way through the through the the season so far that were again consistent again today there's there's too many a little bit up and down the game started at a very high pace didn't it that's something that has happened a lot this season do you think that was maybe a bit too quick for us to to get the goal this time i mean we have scored early goals this season well but... we should have scored we mm. should have scored it's simple as that was a really good chance i mean listen we pride ourselves on getting out the blocks especially at home and putting it on the opposition trying to get in their faces trying to you know impart our will on them yeah. um the way we've conceded the chances and the goals that they've scored today, it's been self-made again. And that that's that's a worry. People say, well, we'll fix it. Then, well, I will. I'll try. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> it's not in the rules that you can't lose a football match. It's the manner in which you lose. And I just felt, well, we didn't stop, we didn't, you know, keep going. We did, we did that. I just felt we looked a little bit bereft of, of creativity. I thought Josh Barrett did well when he came on eventually and got on the ball in the areas where we won him. And we had one ruled out for offside, didn't we? So, yeah, I mean, look, it's it's a bad day at the office um, and I take responsibility. I picked the team. We know our tactics weren't any different to what we normally do, you know. So it's one of them where you've got to, you've got to take that one squarely on the chin and my chin's big enough for that.